For a contemporary artist, a comparison with the Renaissance profile of Florence, with Giotto and Brunelleschi, can only be exciting and desirable. Mimmo Palladino first emerged in the 1980s as part of a group of trans-avant-garde artists and is today one of Italy's best-known artists abroad. He spent over a year preparing one of the most spectacular exhibitions of the year, featuring around 100 works of painting and sculpture on show at the Belvedere Fort overlooking Florence. This exhibition by the 45-year-old artist from Benevento is a demonstration of faith in art, in the return to the manual values that were typical of the early 80s, and is in marked contrast with several younger artists who express a sense of desperation, aesthetic disorientation and moral destruction. Which is not to say that Palladino too doesn't feel and describe his own existential and stylistic insecurity. Some of the works recall archaeological finds or, in the artist's words, fragments of thoughts, memories, materialized dreams. Palladino's eclectic style is a combination of the rigidity of conceptual 1970s art and the end of the avant-garde utopia of the early 20th century. There's nothing dogmatic about the art of Palladino. There are no rules to it. Pompeian styles can coexist beside the mystery of Brazilian ritual. The severity of abstract art, Romanesque sculpture, or that of Brancusi. There's no ideology connecting the differences in Palladino's art. There's simply the courage not to feel lost and to start over again, even in front of Brunelleschi's dome. Thank <laughs> you. 